I define a base search, click a few boxes, and then load up the results, and bam! That, that is the flowchart of the process my users are going through on the kiosk. All I gave it was my wall of text. My wall of text is that picture. I can understand my business now. This is amazing. But, but that wasn't the problem I was trying to solve. The problem I was solving was the call center. Why are people calling the call center? So let's do this. Let's do the analysis. I look at this, and I see this dial a human node. Okay, that's where they're calling the call center. Now, what are they doing before calling the call center? I can use our heat map feature to highlight the most popular paths. And here it looks like they're coming from the swipe pay node. Now that would be our payment processing screen where we take payment and do all that good stuff. But I want to make sure. So I can use the filter functionality to look at only flows that involve the call center. And now it's crystal clear. There's an issue with the swipe pay screen that's causing people to call the call center. But there's another thing I noticed that I didn't notice before. After calling the call center, it appears that our users are skipping the dispense step. Dispense is where we actually take payment and deliver the, the merchandise. Now if that's true, that means we're losing sales. I don't want to be alarmist, so I want to verify this. I switch over to the Convergence tab, and on the left side, I set up the conversions for the purchase flows that do not involve the call center. And I get a 90% conversion. That's pretty good. On the right side, I set up the flows for the purchases that do involve the call center. I get an 18% conversion. That's abysmal. That's a problem. This isn't just an annoying burden on my call center. This is a fundamental issue with the kiosk that we have to fix now. So we do. Now while I'm waiting on the fix, I take a moment to step back and reflect, and I realize Splunk Business Flow has enabled me to understand my business on my own. On top of that, it made it trivial to build the case and explain to my executives and my development team why this is a significant issue that needs immediate attention. If I didn't have Splunk Business Flow, I would still be sitting there, staring at a wall of text, eyes glazed over, trying to connect it to my business. But our story doesn't end there. Once I get the fix, I want to roll it out to just one kiosk and make sure it works before rolling it out to the others. I can use Splunk Business Flow for that too. I just go back to my flowchart view, and on the left side, I set up the flow for the fixed kiosk. On the right side, I have the flows for the unfixed kiosks. The difference is night and day. That is two different processes. But what about the conversions? Switch over to the conversion tab. My fixed kiosks are 90%. My non-fixed kiosks are 58% conversion. The fix works. Ship it! I just teleported from a world where I had to get scrappy to, to pull in resources. I was staring at a wall of text, trying to connect it with my business, all the while waiting on tickets to percolate through my overworked IT department's backlog, to a world where Splunk Business Flow enabled me, myself, I, a lone business analyst, <laughs> to point and click visualize my business, not just my data, quickly build a case for why we must act now and verify 